Hey guys, today we are going to be creating Boogie the Slime Monster. Well, Boogie and Cornelius the Slime Monster. This is a mirror glaze cake, you guys, and it doesn't even look like it. This cake looks bomb, and I had so much fun making it, so let's get started. My name is Sandra Bullock, and you're watching The Proposal. I actually just watched The Proposal, that's why it's on my mind. Let's create this cake. I'm stacking a 10 inch round cake first, and then I'm adding some buttercream into the middle. And I actually made this cake from scratch, so I'm just gonna read you guys the recipe so you have it. Uh, it's one cup of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, three eggs, and flour and stuff. Now I'm gonna smoothen out my buttercream with an offset spatula, and then I'm going to add on top an eight inch round cake. I'm just going to repeat this process and then add a 6 inch round cake on top of that. And then I'm going to add a 6 inch half dome cake to finish it off. Now I'm going to give my entire cake a crumb coat um, and this is kind of useless. I don't know why I always do this. I'm still going to have to carve the cake so all of the icing that I add on the side is it's just wasted. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Now I'm gonna shave away the sides of the cake at the bottom and just smoothen it out so that I create a slope with the bottom layers. Boogie is a slime monster created by six scientists that is extremely cute but also very stupid. He couldn't grasp any concepts past those of the eighth grade level, so he's He's like a normal American. <laughs> and they wanted him to be extremely intelligent, but because he couldn't be, they flushed him down the toilet. So he swirled down into the sewers and is actually pulled out of the sewer water by another slime monster named Cornelius. Now this cake is very similar to my Harold the Ghost cake. Here's a commercial. Now if you haven't seen my Harold the Ghost cake, there's a video for you in the description box as well as at the end of the video. So make sure you go check it out. End of commercial. Now to create Cornelius, I started by cutting out his eyes using a paring knife. And I wanted his eyes to be smaller and larger. You know, the lack of symmetry and the just disgustingness of his face is exactly why the scientists threw him away. Using a paring knife, I carved out his mouth and I tried to make his mouth as deep as I could without sacrificing the stability of the top of his head because I really wanted this to be as 3D as possible. Cornelius was extremely ugly, but also very intelligent. And he was discarded by the same scientist that created Boogie because of that. Because Cornelius and Boogie shared very similar experiences, they empathized with each other. They felt like two halves of a whole, so they joined together to become one. And the entire time their slime monster bodies were fusing together, they were listening to Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. That was good. I like that a lot. I really like that song, so thank you for including it in the story. Now, once they finished fusing, they were stuck for life. It's like marriage, but not like modern day marriage where divorce is like, oh. So their minds were separate still, but they also had this like hive mind where they could hear each other's thoughts. And I'm using cake pop dough to create more of Cornelius's features. I wanted to give his eyes more definition and I wanted to make sure that there was more definition in the slime dripping off of his body as opposed to boogies. Now the trickiest part of this cake was making sure that you couldn't see Cornelius when you were looking at Boogie. So even though his shape is very different, it would still be hidden behind Boogie's silhouette. And I wanted there to be a very big difference in the texture of the slime between each monster. So I left Boogie's texture alone and I added a lot more detail to Cornelius using the cake pop dough. And also because this is a mirror glaze cake, I wasn't sure how much of the detail would actually remain once the glaze was on top. So I made all of my details on Cornelius just a little bit sharper because I knew that the mirror glaze was gonna soften them. Now I added a crumb coat of buttercream and I'm just being mindful of all of the details I created. Now let's get back to the story. Once Cornelius and Boogie joined together, they decided that their first order of business was to find the six scientists that threw them away. So they just retraced the trail of slime that stuck to the walls of the sewer. 
They made their way up the toilet pipe back into the laboratory and found all six scientists working hard on another slime monster. Now Cornelius cornered all of the scientists and pushed them into a custodian's like closet. And then he told them like, yo, I'm a feast on all of your body parts. Even you, Karen. And also that Janet. You too, Janet. Now I'm adding a second coat of buttercream. It's like a fix-it coat. It's not a complete coat. And I placed this in the fridge for about 20 minutes. And when I took it out, I just started to soften up all of the edges with a glove that I wet with water. I want the surface of this cake to be completely smooth for the mirror glaze. Now I placed my cake into the fridge for about two hours and I was watching this movie called Tully. It stars Charlize Theron and it's a movie about this mom that has like a total meltdown and it really makes you appreciate all of the work that your mom did when you were younger. And some of you are still young so you can appreciate it now. Moms and dads do so much work and, and your mom like pushed you out into the world literally and then your parents shaped you and will shape you into contributing members of this society. And they have so much patience. I don't have that much patience. I, I can't even like, uh, a minute and 30 seconds for popcorn in the microwave? No, that is way too long. So moms, dads, thank you. I love you. If I could, I would put a whole bunch of car keys under your seats and you could pull them out like you were on the Oprah show, uh, but I'm really broke, so I can't. So I'm just gonna give you this very uncomfortable uh, internet hug. Come on, bring it in. What up? So I'm adding this in because I know a lot of people who are raised by siblings and they're raised by aunts and uncles and grandparents and who even feel like some of their teachers helped raise them because of like how great an influence they were. So I wanted to include all of those people. It's, there's, there's thunderstorms in California right now, so that's what you're hearing. But thank you so much for helping create amazing human beings. Yeah, you deserve it. Thank you. You did such a good job. Thank you. Now to create Boogie's arms, I'm using Rice Krispies treats that I made from scratch at my house all by myself, you guys. I made these from scratch at home inside my house by myself, from scratch, in my home. At my house. <laughs> now I just used two packages for each arm. I just squished them together and made sure that the side that would face boogies would be smooth, uh, while the sides that were facing Cornelius would have a lot more detail. When I was happy with them, I just inserted them into the side of my cakes using dowels. Once they were stuck on, I gave them a coat of buttercream. I placed this into the fridge again for 30 minutes, and then I took it out and decided to carve away at Boogie's eyes. I just made very shallow indentations so that his eyes had a place to sit. And then I gave him a very tiny mouth. Now I added yellow fondant into each of my monster's mouths. The inside of the mouth would be yellow and it gives the character a little bit more depth because you have more colors and it just looks really, really cute. Now once you're finished with your cake, you want to place it into the freezer because you want this cake to be completely frozen when you start to pour your glaze on top of it. And I started to work on my mirror glaze. Now for my mirror glaze, I'm using Chell Sweet's recipe. I know it's like so out of character for me to use somebody else's recipe because I'm like known for using original recipes and I make everything from scratch, I know. But this is a great recipe, you guys. Now I actually have a degree of separation from this recipe. I was watching Emmy Made in Japan make a mirror glaze cake and the first recipe she used was terrible and then she used Chell Sweet's recipe and so that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna use that too. So shout out to Emmy and Chell Sweets, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm actually doubling the recipe. So I added gelatin into a bowl and then I mixed it with some water to let it bloom. I set it aside and, and in a larger bowl, I added two cups of water, one and one third cup of condensed milk and three cups of sugar. I'm just gonna mix that together and place it in the microwave. Now, if you want this recipe, it's in the description box. I just copy and pasted it from Chell Sweets. And I took it out of the microwave and I added my gelatin and I realized that this bowl is way too small. So I transferred it into a larger bowl 
And then I added four cups of melted white candy melts. You can use white chocolate as well. Now this was really fun because I don't get to use a hand mixer very often, so I was really happy that I got to use one with this. I just incorporated all the ingredients and blended it together. The thing that I loved about this was that there was a lot of suction at the bottom, so you have to have like a strong hold on the blender to like move it around. Now I grabbed another bowl and a strainer and then strained all of my mixture. I'm gonna add white food coloring as well as green and yellow food coloring to get my slime color. And then I blended it all together again with my hand blender. And this is where I think I made a mistake. You wanna make it so that this mixture has as little like air bubbles as possible, but I thought it would be fun to see how many bubbles I could create. <laughs> it was so much fun making this. So I actually had to stop myself because I was like, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this. You're not supposed to do it, but man, it was fun. And if this isn't for fun, then I don't know what I'm doing this for. Now once I was happy with my color, I just had to make sure that my glaze was a certain temperature. You're supposed to pour the glaze at 90 degrees, but my glaze was at 98 degrees, and so I just spent like four minutes singing every 98 degree song I know. Yeah, the sunshine after the rain. It's beyond my control, I've waited so long. Oh, that sounded Half good. <laughs> now usually you would pour this glaze at a temperature of 90 degrees, but because this isn't one of those round flat cakes that mirror glazes are usually poured on top of, I decided to wait and pour it at a temperature of 80 degrees. So 10 degrees less. The consistency of the glaze will be a little bit thicker, but it'll also hold to all of Cornelius's details and also like their arms. Now while I was waiting for my glaze to cool, I created Cornelius and Boogie's eyes. Now for Boogie it was pretty easy, it was just two pieces of vibrant yellow fondant that I cut into equal portions and I just shaped them into two oval shapes. For Cornelius, I made two different sized balls from pale yellow fondant, just a very small one and then a larger one that was three times the size of the other one. Once my glaze was at the temperature of 80 degrees, I started to pour it very carefully on my cake. It's on a cake stand and it's just dripping into a bowl that I created the mirror glaze in. The pouring bit of this cake is, it was so much fun. So messy, but so worth it. I just did it very slowly, making sure that I was able to cover both sides. And then I placed some of my mirror glaze in a pastry bag so that I could make sure that I got underneath the arms, made sure I filled all of the small crevices at the bottom of the cake. Now back to the story. Now if Cornelius was alone, he would have killed every single scientist, but because Boogie was with him, he couldn't. Boogie, so stupid. Boogie was, he's just stupid, but also he's very forgiving. Boogie convinced Cornelius that Forgiveness was the only way to fill the void of being thrown away. And Cornelius said, we'll split the difference, all right, we'll split the difference. So Boogie escorted three of the scientists out of the laboratory and forgave them for throwing him away. But Cornelius, yo, that boy had a feast. He had a Janet feast, he had a Karen feast, and Robert Mmm, that guy was tasty. And the moral of the story is go watch The Proposal starring Sandra Bullock. <laughs> and also don't mess with Slime Monster. They will eat you or eat you and your friend can leave, okay? And when I was finished, I placed it back into the fridge for about an hour. And I took it out and then using a paintbrush, I very carefully just moved the mirror glaze around Boogie's mouth. The glaze actually made the mouth too small so I widened it a bit. Then I added both of his eyes and I gave him two catch lights with some white fondant. Now for Cornelius, I added both of his eyes with a toothpick at the back to hold them in place. And then using some piping gel and red food coloring, gave his eyes a glaze and added some red detail to make his eyes look a little bloody. I made them like a pale yellow as opposed to the bright yellow that's on Boogie because I wanted him to look like he had jaundice. I wanted him to look more like a monster that you couldn't empathize with. I really didn't want him to have too many human characteristics, so I decided to make his pupils goat pupils. I feel like when you look into somebody's eyes, you can connect with them right away, but if you're looking into like goat eyes, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. 
This is too different. I don't know what you're thinking. You need to step back. And I painted the inside of his mouth with a little bit of piping gel that I mixed with a very tiny bit of black food coloring, just so it would look a little dirty. And I wanted the cake board to look like the slime had spread out all the way around the cake. So I just added some more mirror glaze. And then I added some details with gumballs and some green sixlets. And voila, Buggy and Cornelius, the two faced slime monster was complete. I'm really proud of this cake. I had this idea last Halloween, but I wasn't sure it was gonna like work. And even when I started pouring the mirror glaze, I still wasn't sure it was gonna work. But I took the risk and the results were fantastic. So I'm curious, what do you think about this technique? It's, it's super messy, but it looks so nice. I've got two more characters that I wanna cover in mirror glaze because it's, they're gonna look bomb because I learned so much from this cake. You're probably gonna have to wait till next Halloween for them because I just finished all my Halloween cakes. I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. So this cake, you're gonna eat it and it'll be gone. But the character that we created together will be around a lot longer. So thank you for leaving comments and creating the story with me. Now make sure you hit the notification button so that you can see everything I'm currently working on and you can be a part of the story when I create another character. And if your ideas and your thoughts didn't end up in this video, don't worry. I've got a ton of ideas for other characters coming your way. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go watch The Proposal and Tully. Okay, if you've already seen both, what do you think? I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace. <laughs>